Hey guys, today I thought I'd try something new and play RS3, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first things first, I had to float around Dalaran for a little bit just to get back into the groove of things, because it's been a while. And then I decided to do some dailies like I used to in Phase 1 of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, because they're fun and interactive. Also, I'm poor. On second thought, I should probably not waste any more time doing dailies for gold when I can just... Wait until I get paid again next week and buy some WoW tokens. That way I can buy some auction house gear with the gold I make and buy my way into some GDKP runs of Ice Crown Citadel. So for now, I think I'll queue up for some random Lich King heroics. And you know, my favorite part about Blizzard adding the random dungeon fighter to Classic, not only does it make it easier to find groups, but I can play old school RuneScape on the side while I wait for a group to form. Big damn. Big damn. Oh, cool. I actually need those. Big damn. Oh, I need that too. That's a nice trinket. On top of my two new gear upgrades, I got randomly invited to a group by a stranger, and it turned out to be for the Naxxramas Weekly, so I went ahead and did that too. You know what else is really cool is that they have made Wrath of the Lich King Classic more casual and alt-friendly than ever before. You don't even have to play the game if you don't want to, because... If you go to the shop in the character selection screen, you can see here that you can buy a level 80 character for $60. And if you have $20 on top of that 60, you can get the Cataclysm Epic upgrade, which includes a level 80 character, 30 days of game time, and all memes aside, a really cool Cataclysm flying mount. Yes, I did it. I spent $80 to get this mount, 30 days of game time, a, a cute little pet, Cataclysm themed, and this Holy Paladin. However, quick pro tip for everyone, if you decide to boost a character, do not, I repeat, do not try to tank or heal heroics out the gate, because the gear is trash. It's so fucking bad. I mean, it's all green, so obviously it's not going to be great, but you're definitely going to want to get a couple cheap BOEs, because the stats are going to be way better, and just... Just do normals until you can do heroics, because the boosted gear is terrible. Trust me. You might have the item level requirement, but you don't have the stats, dude. Trust me. You know what's really funny about all this, though? I spent $80 in order to boost a paladin. Let's just log out real quick. When I could have just leveled this one. It's only 10 levels. Yes. That's right. You heard me. I spent $80 to skip 10 levels. You want to know why I did that? Because I got more dollars than cents, you know what I mean? Hell oh yeah. See, here's the thing, is that Blizzard is a multi-dollar company, and we need to do everything in our power as players of the game to make sure that they have enough money in their pockets to maintain their servers and provide us with new content. If it were up to me, I would add the WoW token to Season of Discovery and Classic Era servers as well. You know, I recently saw a video where Gold was saying... I can't remember what video it was, but I saw where Asmongold was saying that run back mechanics shouldn't exist. It shouldn't be a thing. You shouldn't have to run all the way back to the end of a dungeon or a raid to do another pull on a boss. But I disagree. I'm having the time of my life right now. Fucking easiest game of my life.